Greetings, this is Derek Ong with the continuation series of Smart PLS uh, analysis for social sciences. And um, I am going to explain to you in this video uh, how to do the importance and performance matrix analysis, uh, which is also commonly known as IPMA. So, to put it in a nutshell, IPMA is just basically uh, an extension of the PLS outcomes using latent variable scores uh, just to find out whether uh, prioritizing which variables to focus on based on the importance. So what we want to look here is uh, to draw a conclusion whether within two dimensions, uh, both importance and performance, which particularly important uh, uh, variables are in order to prioritize for management action. So for example, if let's say a particular variable is um, doing very well, uh, but then uh, it doesn't have much of a, um, uh, how should I say, influence on the uh, latent endogenous variables, which is usually the dependent variable, then those are the variables that the managers should focus on. It is preferably or primarily to focus on improving the performance of these constructs that exhibit large importance uh, regarding their explanation on a certain target, but at the same time also some have a relatively low importance, so we don't just want to uh, look at those uh, 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 key constructs which are overperforming. Yeah, the, so what we're going to do is um, we want to look at, let me just show you this uh, uh, quadrant here. Now this quadrant uh, was uh, made by Abolo et al. at 2007. Um, you can also check at uh, some uh, quadrants by uh, Martilla and Kames in uh, 1977. They devised what we call as the uh, performance importance quadrant. So the performance importance quadrant is broken up into four quadrants, as you can see here. Um, so the scores that will be calculated, any of the variables that fall under uh, concentrate here shows that these variables have very um, good uh, performance, but they are not very strongly related to the um, in uh, the what you call this, the uh, uh, dependent variables. So these are the variables that you should have concentration on. Uh, these are the variable which is okay. And uh, if any variable falls here, then it is just overperforming and should not be taken too much into consideration. So this is a quadrant uh, that was uh, created by uh, Mat uh, Matilla and Kems. Um, the objective of IPA is basically diagnostic in nature. It's just to facilitate the identification of attributes. Um, and um, when we look at these uh, attributes uh, on this uh, partition, we will be able to decide which are the variables which we need more concentration. So it's really for managerial implications, right? Okay, so what does the um, uh, IPMA calculate for us? So the IPMA calculates for us two things. One is called the total effects, which is the uh, unstandardized uh, weights, yeah? And one is called the performance, okay? So, for example, if uh, we have a performance uh, variable, which is quite good, as you can see, um, uh, so 69.948 uh, and uh, perceived usefulness, perceived uh, behavior control, and uh, as well as uh, uh, if you can look at uh, perceived ease of use. This is why uh, these three important variables should be taken into consideration. Okay, so 
Now I'm just going to show you how to uh, uh, do the simulation for IPMA. Uh, so if any variables, just to let you know, uh, has a much um, discrepancy between importance and performance, yeah, then there is a greater need for remedial action. Right, so the difference, the big difference between importance and performance, then there'll be a much greater need for uh, uh, importance and remedial action because the assumption is the larger disc uh, discrepancy uh, causes greater satisfaction, dissatisfaction. Sorry. So I'm going to show you the uh, usage of smartphone as the uh, variables that we're going to use. And I'm going to calculate IPMA. So first thing we want to make sure is that we have this um, thing here uh, that puts the target construct on intention. Or you can put the target construct on attitude. It uh, depends on what is your target construct that you want to look. So the target construct we want to look at is intention because we want to drive intention uh, to work and uh, to 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 um, help more people work. Unless of course if it's a uh, linear regression, then you can put in, in uh, attitude. It doesn't matter which one you want to put. It's just depending on what is the target attribute. First thing to note is making sure that um, all your um, ranges are correct, the same, yeah, uh, on the same scale. Uh, if any indicator is on the uh, uh, different scale uh, or negatively worded, please remember to reword the scale or uh, reverse the scale, right? So uh, we are going to start. Uh, you can put in a one and a five, yeah, just to reset everything so that everything is the same. Okay. Right. So now we're going to look at calculating. Calculations are done. So what are we looking at first? Click on the performance, importance performance map. Now, the importance performance map shows you the quadrant, which you can now copy the clipboard yeah, to your Microsoft Word. We can call this the IPMA chart. That's where we can uh, kind of superimpose the um, the quadrant on top. You can do that on your own, and you can, as you can see these three variables are highly uh, uh, focused on, on concentration. And now I'm going to show you why they are highly focused on concentration. Okay, um, you need to have a table um, if you have your Excel. This is just going to help you with the table. Um, just making sure that your table has um, the construct. Show it to you. Excel format. You need these. So you've got to copy the construct total effects. This is the construct total effects. We call it the importance, which is the unstandardized uh, regression. Just remember it's unstandardized, so you can have something that is above a 1. And you need to calculate this. 
which is the uh, construct performance for intention, which is the total effect, sorry, um, the uh, index values. So how does these index values work? So for instance, if let's say a person were to put in a, let me just show you. So for example, if let's say a person were to, performance index is calculated as uh, in, on a seven point like a scale, given a five, hence the calculation would be five minus one, divide over seven minus one, and that would get 66.67. Uh, so that's why they show both uh, the um, uh, total importance for the uh, target variable and also the performance for the target variable. Okay, so this is a very important um, variable that is needed. Right. Just going to put this here. Okay. Now, if you notice, the discrepancies are these three variables. The greater discrepancy between importance and performance, ease of use, you have your observability, and you have your usefulness. So, if you notice that observability has the greatest difference in discrepancy in two. And therefore, this has the highest concentration that you should, managers should focus on, observability. Whereas the other two, not so much, but still they are within the quadrant. And this means that um, uh, management should give more importance to these three variables and just continue to keep a good work with the attitude. Yeah, but if anything falls here, uh, which means that the importance and the performance are quite close to each other, uh, then the management should just not put so much effort on any variables that falls in this. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions on IPMA, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a good day.